Mad Dog and Merrill in the house. And a, hot, and a hot grill to stand by. Oh my gosh. <laughs> the only thing that's keeping me warm this morning. Congratulations to that to your daughter, I right. hear. Big news. Sage graduates tomorrow from West Stevens Point. Wow. Yep, gonna go on to grad school, so life's that's good. Huge. Yeah, that's yes. huge. That's yep, huge. Uh, yep, any yep. kind of graduation is big, but college graduation, that took a I long know. way to get there. I, <laughs> trust me. I know, I was I'm gonna be crying like a baby. I, I know. was happy I graduated from kindergarten. <laughs> <laughs> that was just last week. <laughs> Congratulations. <laughs> so we couldn't do a show about grilling without having you guys on this week. Well, all thanks. week long we've been doing different salads and summer grilling. I think we're all so ready. I mean, we are, I've been ready for that, that nothing better than the, you know, smell of the grill going and uh, get well, the you neighbors know, I don't know all jealous. Smell it, no, but I got cedar plank cooking. Oh. And I'm going to do a couple ways to do cedar plank cooking and it's phenomenal. There's nothing that you can't cook with plank grilling. Uh, on the grill. It's just phenomenal stuff. And I, I love stuffed burgers. I love burgers in general. Me too. So I've got about a pound and a half of hamburger here. And I'm just going to splash a little bit of Worcestershire on top of there. Okay. We're going to add a little bit of our hickory barbecue sauce. Yum. And the, uh, the actual essence of hickory come from Manitowoc at the Red Arrow Company. Smells so delicious. Little hickory, little, uh, not too much, just enough to give it some flavor. Now, the, the recipe we use calls for an egg in there to help hold it together. Okay. So I'm going to add an egg in the center. Okay. We have some jalapenos and we mm. have some onion. I'm not going to add quite all of those. So we're going to mix Ooh, that all together. Right. And be Yum. before I mix that, I think I'm going to show my plan. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, that's what I was going to ask you about that. Um, so you, I know we, you know, you hear salmon planks, you know, salmon on the grill. Yep. But you mentioned, you know, we're going to do burgers on it. Where do you get these planks, and how do how do you? Well, you know, the, the best way I found there's a lot of great stores that sell planks. You can use cedar, you can use hickory oak, any untreated lumber. Okay. So you can get them at a lumber store. Well, you don't have to pay as much if you go to the lumber store. Uh -huh. I got it. Smart. Yeah. Yeah. Here's, what, here's, what, here's Smart. what I did, Trevor. Here's what I did. I actually went to the to a, uh, a mart store, uh, 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 you know, that sells picket fencing. Okay. And I asked for the cedar fencing post. Okay. And I got a six foot piece for about two dollars. Love it. And cut my own section. Last night I soaked them in water, and that's the key thing. That baby is totally soaked in water. How long? Twenty four hours? I like doing mine overnight. Twenty four, okay. twelve hours. Okay. Some, you can do it two to four, eight hours. Okay. Two to four to eight hours, but overnight is really, really good. That's the last step. When my burgers are smushed together, and I'm going to sear them up a little bit on the grill, let's show them. Now, now the benefit is that you're going to get this great smoky oh, kind of flavor um, that, you know. The, that's a cedar, it's just a, I'm going to do cedar planked uh, poppers in the next segment we're on. Ooh. But look at this baby right here. Now, there's the oh cedar. Gosh. So I, 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 I smushed together my burgers right here. Okay. I made patties. I preheated the grill on high. I seared one side of the burgers. So you started them on the grill. Yeah, I started so the burgers nice on the color. A little, yeah. It's a catalyst. It gets yeah. them going. Got it. Gets the flavor. And then I take that board out of the water, put the burgers on top of there, put that cedar plank right on top of a nice high heat, and when you're done, you want that plank to be totally charred. It's a one-time use. Okay, so done with that. Throw it in the fire place. Yep. Fire pit, yep. Whatever. Bacteria is okay. going to grow if I leave okay. that baby set. Got you know it. what I'm saying? Got it. But it's so worth it. So and, the and, flavor and, you're going to get that's going to be like that wood smoked, yummy. It's you know. just phenomenal. Yeah. And Ooh. it's and, and and they're just nice, barely done. I can just tell oh that they're a little gosh. bit medium in the center. Ooh. So that took about 25, 30 minutes with a heat underneath it. You can slow it down or speed it up by the temperature of the grill. I love the idea of just trying different things on these planks this summer, besides fish, you know. Um, and you know, what else? What else have you done on there? Have you done just? You know, we do we do a, a cedar plank shrimp. Ooh. We do scallops. Mm. Uh, you take a, a, a crisp kraut. Oh yes. Drain oh, crisp kraut. Add brown sugar, diced up onions, and apples. You add that to the plank. And then you put ring kielbasa on top. Oh, now <laughs> we're talking. Good. So, but the same methods: brown it up, get it going a little bit on the grill, even, then get even it on with the, the kielbasa. Plank. You don't need to do that or okay. Polish sausage. Now, okay. if it's raw bratwurst, which you can plank, I like to sear them for just a second or two to get the flavor. Got it. Steaks, Merrill steak that he's going to be doing yeah. right now. Sear that baby up a couple seconds on both sides. Put it on that plank. Put the hood down and yeah. let it slow cook. Yeah. Phenomenal yeah. stuff. Yeah. Speaking of which, we didn't mean to leave you out. No, I'm so excited right. about I'm that. I'm by the plank. pretty excited about steak uh, and uh, Steve Rosemary. Well, so well, like, you know, we're very easy to do. And, you know, you showed about the beer and wine pairing. I'm doing actually a, what I call a cider and steak, or you could go ahead and use beer. But what I'm going to do is just go ahead and take these steaks. I'm going to place them in the bag. I'm going to bag it. You can do this the night before if you want. 
sir wine. It looks like we got a yeah. sir wine, which I, I think gets a bad rap, but well, I, I love know, I like it because it's basically, it's got a good beefy flavor to and it. And it's cheap. It's a little yes, bit cheaper. Yeah. I'm a cheap type of guy, And too. that one steak can serve two to three people, which well, is... Well, for me, it's just one, <laughs> but okay. Two so, three. Yeah, two or three. Now, I'm using a raspberry cider. This has a little bit of sweetness in there. If you could hold that bag a little bit, I'm just going to go Actually, ahead and... Oh, uh, delicious. So, a little bit of oil. Okay. So olive oil. I like using olive oil in there. Just to oil that up a little bit. Okay. We got the cider in there to sweeten it. A little bit of the Worcestershire sauce, the W sauce. Got to have the W sauce. The one thing that I definitely do like is rosemary. To me, mm, uh, rosemary just adds a great flavor, especially like even to prime rib. And I'm just going to go ahead and strip these. Yum. And then even put the whole thing right in there. You could do this actually all oh, overnight, two to three hours is fine. Seal it up. And then I'm going to go ahead and cook these a little bit later. But I'm also going to be doing some sweet potatoes. Mm. A lot of people have no idea on sweet potatoes and the flavor on sweet potatoes, or but the same thing. They just do sweet potatoes at Thanksgiving. They don't do them during right. dinner. Right. And these I just go ahead and grill right up. So we peeled them? Peeled them. Chunked them chunked up. Chunked them up. Okay. I'm going to add a little bit of oil. Okay. On the there. Mad Dog and Miro oil. Yeah, which yeah, where, we're, where can it be? Oh, well, you can get it they're definitely online. Uh, to ask at the stores to go ahead and have them. That's all what we need so for the oil. So tell us why your olive oil is so special. You know something is hand harvested in small batches in Chile, and when it's first cold pressed, first cold pressed and hand harvested in small batches, the olives don't get bruised. Okay. And it's that acid level, so it's actually a grade A olive oil. The acidity level is as low as possible. There's no bruising of the olive. The Ooh. pure flavor. Wow. So besides sauces, they do barbecue sauces and, and spices. Right. Now you guys are doing into the olive oil business. Yeah. We've got this and also on our marinade on these sweet potatoes. If you wanted to, I'm going to brown these up. You can use a little bit of honey, but I'm just going to go ahead and use our nature's garden. Yeah. Brush right. that on there. We will be back to check on those burgers. Oh, here they are. Oh, burgers. That's delicious. To check on uh, Meryl's steaks and sweet potatoes. And um, Mad Dog is doing poppers stuffed with, well, you just got to see them. Pineapp pineapple, pecan, poppers, plank. Yum. <laughs> Stick around. Lots more to come. Plus, we're going out for a banana split. So stay with us.